Hi, this is Dr. Aman Vij uh, from New Delhi. I am uh, MD Internal Medicine and practicing as a unit head uh, in Department of Internal Medicine, Venkateshwar Hospital and uh, Director of Antidote Clinic, uh, Dwarka. So today we will be talking about uh, understanding hypertension and how to go about hypertension, the treatment, protocols and everything. So uh, everybody wants to have a healthy lifestyle and a good uh, healthy lifestyle. So a blood pressure is a silent killer. So we will be talking about blood pressure. So what exactly the blood pressure is? So it is called hypertension also. Uh, normally, it, uh, it is the blood which flows through the blood vessels. Normally, uh, the flowing of the blood through the vessels is normally a hyper uh, blood pressure. And uh, the, with the pressure with which this blood flows through the blood vessels is called blood pressure. And uh, normally, hypertension is basically measured in different quantities. So, normal blood pressure should be less than 120 by 80. When it goes higher than 140 by 90, normally that is called blood pressure. So, there are different parameters which can be used and helpful in preventing blood pressure. And uh, so, uh, we will be talking about uh, the blood pressure in healthy persons and unhealthy person. So, everybody wants to have a healthy lifestyle. So, the different modalities like age factors, obesity, uh, excessive dietary intake of salt, less in potassium can lead on to hypertension. So, the hypertension usually develops by time to time and it can happen by uh, unhealthy lifestyle and the other risk factor which includes in hypertension uh, there is exactly what is age. So, normally uh, in age, by older age, our arteries start to get stiffened up and they have excessive fat absorption. And uh, the second thing is normally the family history. It has been used, uh, uh, observed that uh, uh, family history of hypertension can lead on to uh, uh, hypertension in the person also. And uh, that is another factor. Second, third factor is excessive salt intake. If the normal consumption of salt is more, that can lead on to more blood pressure. And uh, other thing is excessive uh, uh, intake of unhealthy food, high in saturated fatty acids can lead on to hypertension. And second is excessive smoking, obesity, alcohol consumption can even lead to hypertension. Then we will be talking about another factor which is called stress. Normally the stress build up by day to day activity and person can have hypertension. And uh, so moving on to hypertension and his sign and symptoms and what exactly can be a cause of other things which we have already talked about. And uh, the hypertension does not uh, uh, have any sign of symptoms in beginning. So, person usually have a morning stiffness uh, of headache, blurry eyes, buzzing in the uh, ears, even he can have nausea and vomiting that can lead on to hypertension symptoms. So, person should observe early morning headache which can be more in the occipital area and patient can have vision abnormalities, start to have blurry eyes. So, once you th uh, check the blood pressure, if it is more than 120 by 80, one should consult a doctor. And uh, second thing is what exactly uh, uh, is uh, the normal value and how to measure it and things like that. So, blood pressure normally it is less than 120 by 80 and uh, normally it is by two modalities called systolic and diastolic blood pressures. Now, what is uh, to a layman, how do we normally explain it? So, normally if we check the blood pressure by the, measure, uh, by the instrument called sigma manometer. So, we normally put the scope over here and then check the pressure and when the heart contracts, it is normally the upper value which is 120 and the lower value is around 80 which, when, which is when the heart relaxes between the two beats. And if the values are more than 120 by 80, say if it is 140, the upper one and the lower one is more than 90, then we should consult a physician or a cardiologist. Now, second thing is coming on to, now we talk about hypertension uh, parameters and the, the values. Now, we should talk about the you know, how to prevent it. So, as we all know, the blood pressure is a silent killer. It does not give, give us symptoms. So, if the person checks the pressure and if it is more, and we can normally pre prevent it by different modalities. One is uh, by regular exercise, another one is by diet, then by stress management, then even uh, we can uh, go for medicines and regular uh, BP monitoring. So, what exactly the uh, exercise we can do by preventing uh, all these things. So, one is healthy lifestyle. So, you should normally get up and do a exercise which can be of like 30 minutes per day, a strenuous exercise which can include uh, jogging, swimming and uh, you can uh, even have a brisk walk and uh, these all things can help in preventing blood pressure. And uh, the second thing is uh, we can also try and do alternative medicine which is called uh, uh, yoga exercises, uh, meditation can be done. So, we can do uh, yogic exercises like uh, pranayam 
and uh, so these can help in lowering the blood pressure. Now, how do we help? Uh, how does it help it? If you do a normal exercise, it can uh, reduce your weight, and a normal exercise can give a good uh, pumping to the heart. The heart gets stronger, and uh, when the heart gets stronger, the blood flows properly. When the blood flows properly, the heart usually works less. So, the lesser exercise uh, heart has to do, the better it can stay with you, and uh, you can have a healthy lifestyle forever. And uh, the second thing is now we come to diet. So normally uh, they say ki if you use the DASH diet, what is DASH diet or Mediterranean diet? DASH diet is basically a, a diet associated for uh, stopping hypertension. So what is a good diet we can take? So normally as we tell our young people, our family, colleagues and friends, eat healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, what is healthy diet? Healthy diet is a diet which is uh, less of junk, less of uh, saturated fat, uh, high in potassium and uh, good fiber diet. So salads can be used and uh, so with this diet modification your weight will reduce, you won't get excessive uh, weight, obesity will reduce and then uh, you will have a good lifestyle with a good uh, blood pressure. And uh, now we talk about diet and uh, now we talk about stress management. So I told you do a good exercise, meditation and then uh, third thing is regular BP monitoring. So how we do regular BP monitoring? So normally the blood pressure fluctuates uh, during the daily diurnal variation. What is diurnal variation? The morning to evening, you know, as we do excessive work, we are more stressed out, so BP goes high. And regular monitoring of blood pressure is very easy. Apply a sigma manometer, press a, a button and the uh, values will come. So if your values, uh, values are more than 140 by 90, consult a physician or a cardiologist are already said and then uh, proper things can be used with good lifestyle and medicine and it can reduce your blood pressure. Now the third thing we have talked about diet, we have talked about exercise, we have talked about uh, uh, less of alcohol consumption, less of smoking and uh, less of salt. So salt is very important in blood pressure, normally a teaspoon of uh, uh, you can say a tablespoon of salt, uh, a tablespoon of salt is uh, equivalent to 2300 milligram of salt. So if you reduce the salt intake, it will drastically reduce your blood pressure by uh, by 5 to 6 millimeter and uh, even that exercise also do the same thing. And uh, the third thing is uh, you are managing your stress and the last thing is if still by all the measures your blood pressure is still more than 140 by 90 and then we uh, preferably start medicines that's called antihypertensive. different class of groups are there. So depending on the patient. Uh, things we normally recommend medicine and with good medicine we keep the pressure less than 120 by 80 and that can prevent a lot of complication which includes uh, kidney failure, which includes stroke, which includes eye changes and uh, ultimately a cardiac event can be prevented. And uh, so in the end I will say a good healthy lifestyle, uh, better BP monitoring, less of alcohol, good exercise and uh, meditation can prevent lot of complications and uh, we can prevent all this thing by moderating the blood pressure. Thank you so much.